Good morning all you sleepy dudes and dudettes out there. Toysha's here and today we're going to be talking about who in the holy heck is Cole Obsidian aka the Black Dwarf. He was just unveiled, officially unveiled, we already knew that he was coming, but uh, officially unveiled that he will be the brand new Build-A-Figure for Avengers Wave 2 that will be out later this year and he is looking fantastic, a giant massive hulking figure. Uh, it kind of actually looks more to be um, comic book related than the movie, just based on the movie stills that we've seen so far. But uh, they may have, you know, changed the concept art uh, as they did with Thanos and such like that. So it kind of remains to be seen. Either way, it's kind of a good mashup between comic and movie. And let's just be honest, who's not happy to get a brand new member of Thanos' Black Order? So with that being said, let's get into who in the holy heck is Cull Obsidian, a.k.a. the Black Dwarf. Now let's just get this out of the way right off the bat. Some of you have been asking and sending me messages on why Hasbro, God forbid, or Disney or Marvel or anything would change the name of uh, <laughs> of <laughs> Black Dwarf to Cull Obsidian. And go ahead and tell someone that your favorite character uh, of, of all time, of any comic book, is Black Dwarf and see what they say. All right, Or you can just look it up on the internet and you'll have your answer. It's it's not the best uh, PC of names, so yes. Also, Cull Obsidian is a fantastic name. Who wouldn't want to be called Cull Obsidian? That's just like, you, you know you're in for trouble if you got this dude coming after you. But anyways, Cull Obsidian, officially, name, that's what it is, uh, is part of Thanos' Black Order, which is essentially like Thanos' personal strike team, his A-team, sort of like his version of Charlie's Angels <laughs> that he sends out. Um, this guy is joined by fellow members uh, Corvus Glaive, Proxima Midnight, Supergiant, and Ebony Maw. And man, they all have such fantastic names. Um, you know, the, those are scary, just menacing sounding names. I would not want anybody by the name of any one of those on the list coming after me. Uh, <laughs> Cull Obsidian's role on Thanos' Black Order team is that, you know, he's the strongest, most powerful. He's got speed. He's got invulnerability. His skin is near impenetrable. So, you know, that's just the dude. He's essentially the Avengers equivalent of the Hulk. In the comics, he's uh, he was created by Jonathan Hickman, and he appeared in Infinity Number 1 back in 2013, and then subsequently, you know, has made appearances uh, with the rest of the Black Order as time has gone on. Uh, one of his main, you know, character, you want to say stories or arcs and stuff, Thanos uh, kind of charged him with conquering Wakanda, you know, that deals with Black Panther and all that, and he just failed miserably, and subsequently he was kicked out of the Black Order for a time. And Cole Obsidian uh, was subsequently killed by Ronan the Accuser after um, Obsidian tried to, you know, get back into the Order and then, you know, try to take down the Avengers. Obviously, that won't be happening in the uh, Marvel Cinematic Universe unless, you know, events with the Infinity uh, Gauntlet take place. But, um, you know, Ronan the Accuser won't be showing up anytime soon. That turd blossom was stopped by uh, the Guardians a while back. So, in either case, uh, this is just, uh, it's it's a very exciting figure. Um, it's It looks to be massive, it, you know, even if it's on par with uh, Gladiator Hulk and stuff like that. It's still, that's a good sized figure. I'm happy to get that. As long as he's heavy, he's bulky, he's massive, um, which he looks to be, and he's got lots of sharp points. <laughs> and uh, also his giant um, hammer. Now in the comics, he looks to have, uh, uh, you know, mostly like a, a big space axe, essentially. This one, he looks like more of like a... Uh, like a crystalline space hammer. Um, if, you, if you've seen the Proxima Midnight, the staff that she comes with, the one that kind of gets launched at Captain America in the Infinity War trailer, they all kind of um, look to be the, the same kind of architecture and uh, aesthetics. Matrixy, boxy, sort of, you know, techno-organic looking kind of device. So in either case, it's excited. I'm very excited to see uh, Avengers Infinity War. I can't tell you, you know, this is, this is going to be great. It will be great. Uh, it's so fantastic to see 10 years of just pretty much near perfect movies. There's been some here and there, Iron Man 3, but, uh, you know, it, or, and 
the other two Thors, but <laughs> we're not counting those. Don't worry, they were good in their own right. Anyways, uh, that is the basics pretty much on Cull of City. And again, it, it you know I think he'll he'll be more of a presence in the movies uh, unless he gets killed right off the bat. But I do enjoy teams. I'll be happy to complete a, you know a Marvel Legends version of this Black Order team. There have been some rumors, purely rumors. Do not, you know, take this anything, you know, except as a rumor uh, that SDCC uh, box set or, you know, whatever they're doing might be Black Order related, but I've also heard other number of things. So you never know. In either case, it'll be exciting to just have these figures in hand. So that kind of completes your little background, side story, backstory, origin story of Cull Obsidian, a.k.a. The Black Dwarf, and I hope you enjoy these videos because I do enjoy making them. And I also, to be honest, get to find out weird and obscure facts about some of the characters that I sort of have a uh, an idea about, but not really. And again, along with SPDR, uh, Cull Obsidian is not one that I was too uh, familiar with. So it's fun to, uh, to find out and to learn things, the more you know. If you like this uh, video, please hit the like button and uh, tell me what you thought. Give me, uh, leave me a comment. Are you excited about Call Obsidian? Um, will you? I know. I know you have to. You know, you got to buy other figures. The other figures I've been hearing, you know, meh, it's it's a lot of reissues and you know redecos of characters to match the movie that we already have. But you know what I mean. To get a good build a figure, that's just how you do it. You got to play the game. Anyways, um, go ahead and leave me a comment. Will you be picking up Call Obsidian when he's released later in the year? Also, hit the notification button. That way you can find out. When I post more videos like this and, you know, if you're driving home and you want to just listen to, uh, you know, a quick recap in the car, put me on, you know, see what happens, see if you enjoy it. <laughs> um, also, if you are on Twitter and Instagram, please follow me at Toyshiz and I will catch you guys later. All right. Have a great night. Great day, wherever you may be. Adios.